What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in Wet, South Georgia. Man, I can tell y'all one thing. This ground's hard down here at the shop, but I'm going to have to put something on this or mix some sand with it. I mean, you will slip. This is slick, slick. I came down here yesterday and had my snooks on, and I got out of the truck, and I, like... I hurt my shoulder just trying to catch myself. <laughs> it's all right now, but I mean, just like it just tweaked it. Anyway, there's my footer. Pulled the forms off it this morning. Seems to be, I don't know that the center's fully cured or not, um, but it looks to be, it looks to be pretty good. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I, uh, Probably would have been better if I'd have mixed it. Now, some of the folks got on my short video and said, hey, you can't dry pour forms. <laughs> now, uh, not forms, footers, okay? Uh, look, that building that's been sitting on the ground for two years, it's going to sit on that, okay? Now, <laughs> if I was building... Uh, you know, a house or a big shop, something that was going to be, you know, heavy wood frame. I wouldn't do that, all right? I considered setting it up on just landscape blocks, putting about four on each side, okay? So that's, that's definitely better than that. But yeah, I get it. I get it. Somebody, they didn't, I didn't put any context to it. They didn't know what I was pouring footers for <laughs> i think they like to freak out on me but uh anyway it's all good so i got to uh move these forms now to the uh other end it's it's mist and rain i think i'm gonna mess around with this a little bit i don't have the uh cement i got about i think i got about five bags and this took i think nine bags um in the place i normally get it they're not even open today so but I thought I might go ahead and get it formed up and get it ready. Uh, I'm going to be gone for the next like three days for the most part. Uh, but if I get it formed up and get it ready, I might come down here and pour it in the morning. And that way everything will be good and dry. And I could shoot from moving the building the first of next week. So, you know, at least just getting it set up on here. Um, so, anyway, I don't know. We'll see. Just piddling around, man. Piddling around. Here's my dry pour. Oh, look at there. I didn't have enough, and I knew I wasn't. Actually, I didn't think I'd get as far as I did. I wet poured this one because I want it to dry. You know, I want it to go ahead and start the drying process. So probably one more bag would finish it, uh, but I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere open. That's some of the stuff, uh, well, I had four bags up at the house. That's just something, you know, with the, the kind of stuff I do, I like to have a few bags of that on hand. I almost always got some quick creep or sack creep. So I'm gonna call, I know my place I normally buy from, they ain't open today. They took an extra day for Christmas, which I'm glad they did. I'm glad their folks got to be off Saturday, I mean, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. That's good. Good for them. So, I'm sure somewhere is open today, though. I'm going to go try to find some and get that real quick, and then I got to go get my tractor welded. So, busy day, man. Busy day. All right, so one of the other places that I uh, buy some of my stuff from, they're open. I'm going to run over there. It's, you know... 15 20 minutes away but um anyway it's all good so i didn't shoot any time lapse of doing up the form on the other end or pouring any of that i'd already you know I, I it's really it's mist and rain y'all gonna get a picture of me sliding off the ditch here if i don't pay attention it's slick man it's mist and rain the whole time and i was gonna put where i would have needed to put the camera was just so far back without it being out in the rain uh, which I guess this camera would be okay, but 
it get it all over the lens and then all you see is water spots so um that's why i didn't record any of that but i'm gonna run over here and get uh grab me probably about three bags of it and i'm gonna go back i'm gonna finish that other little bit hopefully i'll have time to do that uh before i gotta jump on the tractor and take it up to my neighbor's house and try to get that um bracket welded so it's uh 11 now and he said for me to be up there about one o'clock and uh it takes me like uh it takes me like 10 minutes to drive up there on the tractor so anyway i got people in the road here let me get off this thing man that little dog looks just like my dog anyway like i was saying it takes me about 10 minutes to drive tractor to his house so i hope it ain't flooding rain then if it is i guess we'll have to have to come up with a new game plan but i'm trying to get this done because i'm hoping that stuff uh i don't know if i get the opportunity i may try to set the shelter on it tomorrow uh I don't know if 24 hours is really enough time for it to dry, but I'm one of them, I get anxious to do stuff, I'm ready to do it. <laughs> uh, see, I gotta take my wife to the doctor tomorrow. She's got an appointment, and where that's at is two hours away, follow-up appointment on all the stuff going on with her neck, so. We'll, yeah, I'd have to do it in the morning. It probably ain't gonna be that dry by then. And then I'll be gone for the next two days. So I might just end up doing it Saturday when I come back. See if I can get the shelter up there. That way I won't be in a hurry and I won't be on potentially uncured concrete. So anyway, just trying to figure it out, man. Trying to figure it out. got all about most of the dirt I need over here I might need a little bit more but I'm trying to get this big pile out of my way so I can work that I'm moving it over here so far so good let's see what happens All right, that's it. I'm gonna uh, uh, let it set a couple of days, dry good. Hopefully Saturday, uh, get back out here and uh, maybe set the shelter on it. We'll see. That's the hope. That's the hope. Farm track's doing good. Wheels holding up good. Bracket. So we we'll don't start back ramming stuff until we uh, until we tear it up again. I guess. So there you go. I want y'all to look at this now. I done got in the shelter in the in the shelter moving business now, man. <laughs> that was over that platform and all. I got it out of there. Gotta get a brace and all to go across it and move it. It's at my neighbor's house. I moved mine. He said, hey man, can you move mine? Yeah. See, I don't even have to worry about tearing this one up. He might be worried about it, but I ain't got to worry about it. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with y'all.